We're turning to Europe then, and hopes of a Brexit deal were revived on Thursday after the British Prime Minister and his Irish counterpart said they could see a possible way, a possible pathway to an agreement. Boris Johnson hosted Leo Varadkar for a private meeting that both described as detailed and constructive. But no details have been released of how the two sides could come to a possible compromise on the issue of the Irish backstop. Both warned there are still challenges ahead if an agreement is to be struck before next week's EU summit. But Mr Varadkar was upbeat about the chances of a deal. You know, I don't think this should be seen in the context of uh, who's making concessions or uh, who the winners and losers are. I don't think that's the game any of us want to play. Uh, what this is about is securing an agreement that works for the people of Ireland and also the people for Britain, uh, Britain and Europe. Uh, and if it works for the people of Ireland, what it means is uh, avoiding a hard border between North and South. That's always been our primary objective, ensuring that the all-island economy can continue to develop uh, and that North-South cooperation, as envisaged by the Good Friday Agreement, can resume. Uh, those are our objectives, uh, and this has always been about achieving those objectives, and I think today they can be achieved. Well, it sounds like a positive statement from the Irish Prime Minister. Earlier I asked Jack Parrick, our correspondent in Brussels, whether this indicated that real progress had been made. A real turn of mood from the Irish Taoiseach. He has been very, very negative about the prospects of a deal coming for quite a while now. But they say, well, they're at a very sensitive stage. They're very positive. It's looking very promising. That's certainly not what we've been hearing uh, throughout the rest of this Brexit process, especially over the last couple of weeks. Even today, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, said that the UK needs to step up and Boris Johnson needs to accept his responsibility for what's going on. And you'll remember the European Council president, Donald Tusk, earlier this week, tweeted out to say uh, that Boris Johnson was embarking on a stupid blame game. There will be big hopes that this meeting between the Irish Taoiseach and the UK Prime Minister can create a path to success to get a deal. Emmanuel Macron wanted something on the table by the end of this week. And this is obviously because that crunch summit on Thursday and Friday next week, when EU leaders will descend here on Brussels, that date is looming. But obviously the Brexit deadline is October the 31st. And all sides want to make sure that the UK doesn't crash out without a deal. Well, you mentioned there that crucial breakfast meeting, uh, Brexit for breakfast, as it were. Uh, that's taking place, of course, between Michelle Barney and Stephen Barclay. The Irish media reporting the UK's made big concessions. That's obviously just media reports. What impact is today likely to have on that crucial meeting tomorrow? Well, what it might do is give uh, the UK some scope to get the European Union side behind their suggestions for the Irish backstop. As you say, we don't know quite what concessions have been made yet, but we will expect Stephen Barclay to be putting them to Michel Barnier, the EU uh, chief Brexit negotiator. What's really important is that the, the crucial issue of the Irish border is really dependent on Ireland's acceptance of however it is resolved. And the European Union has basically backed Ireland and relatively been led by the Irish government to see what they see fit protecting the all-Ireland economy. Obviously, the EU has to, wants to try and protect its single market. But if the, uh, uh, if the Irish Taoiseach is satisfied with what Boris Johnson has been saying, you can expect that that might be the key to unlock this very, very difficult process that's been going on over the last I mean, three years.